Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't clicked on one of my videos before, my name's Brogan, welcome. And if you have, thank you so much for returning. I really appreciate the repeat viewers and it is lovely to see my subscriber count growing. Subscriber count growing. Yes, that's the right words. <laughs> oh God, it's been a long day, you can't already tell. But it is, yeah, it's absolutely lovely. I love seeing that, you know, you guys are starting to comment and starting to tell me what you like, what you don't like. I really would love to hear where some of you are from because I see people subscribing all the time and I always try and click on and be like, where is this person in the world? And I try and look at my analytics, but I don't understand that stuff. I really don't. <laughs> I'm just like, um, it, it, in a table it says underneath a little graph, but it's just not clear enough. I don't find this stuff clear. Like I'm not of this sort of world in terms of social media and all of that. So I'm not up to it. Like I'm not up to the task of reviewing what these bloody graphs mean and what all these colors mean. And you know, oh, it just blows my mind. I'm just like, oh, where is everyone from? Just tell me where you're from. <laughs> so. So yes, thank you so much if you are starting to comment. I do really appreciate it. All the feedback is lovely because, you know, it takes time to put out these videos. And then sometimes if you don't get anyone comment, you're like, oh, well, did anyone actually like it? But then you see the likes and you see that people liked it. So that's always quite nice. Now, anyway, this is part two of my best and less. Um, whole. You know, I'm sorry if I it, at any point say big W during these videos because I just get really confused by the two. <laughs> they both start with B and that's that's enough. Um, but I, I think it's because I did a big W um, come shop with me recently. So I keep thinking big W but it's not as best and less. So anyway, this is the active wear. Now guys, I'm going to be honest, I don't go to the gym. I don't have time to go to the gym actually. And I know that there are going to be people who are like, everyone has time to exercise, everyone has time to look after themselves. Yes, I completely get it. I need to find more time. I understand. I know. I'm, I'm aware. I am aware that I need to find more time, but I just don't have time right now. During my pregnancy, I was in the gym three days a week. Actually, I'd say close to five days a week because I had a gym in my work where I was working and I would go on my lunch break for 45 minutes. Now, I went up until 35 weeks and then all of a sudden I just stopped. My hip gave out towards the end of my pregnancy and I just stopped exercising completely. Like that was it, I just stopped. I go out for walks, take my little Maxi out for walks and you'll see Max in this video because he did boycott, one of, boycott? He didn't boycott because boycott doesn't mean what I'm about to say. Um, but he did um, sort of stand in the middle of one of my videos <laughs> while I was recording me wearing one of the outfits. So I had to pick him up, obviously, and give him a cuddle because what else would you do when your dog's standing there craving some attention? Um, maybe that's why he's naughty. But anyway, I feel like I keep saying that Max is naughty and I feel sorry for him because he's actually not that naughty. He's quite a good boy. He's just a barker. Um, and he's just completely irritating at times. <laughs> But we love him because he's our baby. He is our absolute baby. Um, anyway, our first piece of clothes. This beautiful dusty pink set. Now, I've got two of these to show you. Uh, but they do them in quite a few different colours. But I just thought the pink and the blue were nice. I'm pretty sure they had black and I'm pretty sure they had white as well. So, they're shorts, which is quite nice. But it's a bit weird because we're coming into autumn and I'm like, uh, well, I guess when you're working out, as I haven't done in a while, when you're working out, you get quite hot, don't you? So you want a short set and you want short sleeves, don't you? No one wants a long sleeve when they're working out. So I really love this dusty pink. When I was a kid, the bedroom was all this colour and I absolutely loved it. I had all these china dolls, which, I mean, for a kid, it's just petrifying. I had all these china dolls and all of these china clowns all hanging up all over my room. I don't know why I wasn't petrified of them. I wasn't, I absolutely loved them, I adored them. And I had this color wallpaper, and no, it wasn't wallpaper, it was just paint. Damson, it was called. I don't know why I still remember that. I had also this beautiful big, um, like kitchen, it was like a kitchen sort of shelf, like all detailed, it was wooden, it was lovely. It had like little shelves, like little um, actual like desk, Draw, draw, draw shelves in it. It was very, 
country-esque, I'd say. And I had that in my room and I had more China dolls on there. I really loved that. And I'm really trying to go for that look again in my house now. Like that sort of country vibe. Um, because like I say, I've said this before, I'm a minimalist and I find it really hard to put things on my walls that aren't photos because I feel like it's just a waste. I'm like, I can put photos on there, but pieces of art, anything like that, I'm just like, no, it's just a waste. I don't, I don't want to clutter my house with knickknacks. But I need to start doing it because now that we've got children, we need to make our house a home. And our house is very clinical. It's pure white and wood, maybe some greys, as you can see. This is the most colour we've got in this house, by the way. This is the most colour. Actually, this is the most adventurous of everything because we've got panelling as well. My husband did this. Um, did it on a really good budget as well, Bunnings. Anyway, um, anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling on, but this, and don't you like this colour? Really love this colour actually. I really like it, but it's just plain. So I need to start getting a little bit more, not knickknacks, but things for the wall like shelves, like cute shelves. Anyway, I'm going to do a photo wall in one of my rooms and I've decided to do op shopping for that. So get all of my stuff from secondhand shops. And I'm very pleasantly surprised with what I've got so far. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Yes, I will, I'll do a video on that. Anyway, God, stop rambling. These are really cute. I actually really love them, but me, myself, I'm very insecure. No, I wouldn't say insecure because I think that's a lie. If I wanna wear something, I'll wear it. But I don't feel confident wearing this at the moment but I love them. I think they're great. And I think that they're great, not just for active wear. If you're going for a walk and it's not even a vigorous walk, you can put like a cool little, you know, t-shirt over these or a shirt or a little jacket. And these make a really cute little outfit that doesn't look too active wear. You know, everyone loves to wear their active wear out in public now with, you know, flip flops and not trainers. So I think that these are a really nice look if you're going for that look anyway, but they're also great for if you're going to the gym because that's what they're made for. They're a really comfortable material actually. They're very stretchy. The bike, the shorts say high rise, seam free, jacquard detail, quick dry, designed for comfort. So I got mine in the extra large. I think really for me that makes me feel comfortable and I think I probably could have gone for a large as well but I think they'd have hugged me a bit tighter. Now these are 90% nylon, 10% elastin. The extra large, how much are these ones? Oh, don't tell me they don't have a price, guys. Oh, the top has a price. So the top's $18. I've got the extra large in that one as well. And this says moisture wicking, breathable, quick dry, four-way stretch. Four-way stretch. Ah, oh, okay, so it's like that. Oh, come on. Do we really need, do we need to know that? Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Four ways, are you serious right now? Oh God, honestly. Um. So yes, I don't know how much the shorts are. I'm gonna have to put it down below. I'm sorry guys, I hate doing that because it just feels ridiculous. Oh, actually, maybe I'll have it on one of the other sets. I'll probably have it on one of the other sets. Probably not actually. Okay, anyway, the top was $18. I don't know how much the bottoms were, but we'll, we'll find out soon. I really like these sets. I think they're really cute. I think that they're a cheaper alternative to all the higher brand labels for active wear. And I mean, unless you're someone who lives in your active wear, which I have friends who do, and so it's, it's good for them to buy expect, expensive brands because they live in it, they work in their active wear, you know, it's, it's their brand, it's their, it's what they wear. Um, but, I personally think if you're just someone who wants to go um, and do a workout or you're going out for a walk or you're doing some active things with your friends, these are a really cute alternative and I really, really like them actually. Um, and even if you are someone who's living in your active wear all the time, you don't wanna keep spending on it. These are oh, $20, there we go, $20, it's right there, $20. So what's that, $38 for the whole set. I don't think that's too bad. Come on, I don't think that's too bad. Now the top part of these feels thicker than the bottom, so I think that it's doubled up. I really like them, I think they're cute. I think they look nice. Now considering I don't feel confident in these, I actually quite like the way they look. I thought that they didn't dig into me too much. 
I love the colour. I think this colour is really nice. And yeah, I think they're really nice alternative to expensive brands. I paired that with this. Now I thought, you know, if it's sort of winter and you're going for a walk or you're going for a run and it's really early in the morning, it could be quite cold. Um, so you might want to get a little bodysuit. I can't remember what they call these. I think they're bodysuit, are they? Are they bodysuit? I don't know, actually. Um, so I thought you might want to get one of these. This is quite nice. It's quite puffy. I really quite like it. This one is size 14. I feel like I probably could have gone down a size in this one, actually. And this one is $25. So I think it's a really nice, um, I think it's a really nice price. It is 100% polyester, which I don't love, but you know, it's one of those things. Everything's polyester lately, honestly. I do actually really like it. It has pockets here as well. Uh, they did these in a few different colors. I can't remember the exacts, but I don't know. I think these are quite cute. I've always loved these types of bodysuit, body, not bodysuits, body jackets. I can't remember what they're called, but you know, warmers, body warmers, body warmer. Is that it? Is that it? I don't know. Um, but I really quite like these body warmers. I always have done. I don't like the sound of them. I think they sound, they always sound, everyone knows you're coming from a mile off, don't they? So I really like that one. I think it's quite nice. I think it's, you know, neither here nor there. If you want to buy it, perfect. I don't think that your wardrobe's going to be lacking if you don't have one, but you know. Next up, we have the exact same set, but in a bright blue. Now, I really love this color. Now, I have to apologize because when I'm trying these on, I do have a green sports bra on because, guys, like I said, I'm not sporty, so all of my sports bras are really old, and that's the only one that actually doesn't make my boobs look too saggy. <laughs> so... So I thought I'd put that one on because otherwise, in some of these videos, I've got really saggy boobs and it's because I've got no bras that fit me. So before my pregnancy, my boobs were a lot smaller and then during my pregnancy and after my pregnancy, they obviously got a lot bigger and I bought nursing bras. And now those nursing bras don't fit me and my bras before don't fit me. So I need to get new bras, but bras are really expensive. So I'm just gonna have to deal with saggy boobs for a little while we're having hard times at the moment inflation is a real thing hard times are a real thing money is tight at the minute and i can't afford bras so there you go saggy boobs are the one so the shorts they're the same as the last ones extra large 20 dollars um you know they stretch four ways <laughs> four-way stretch guys you know <laughs> I don't know if the other brands are offering that, but these are four-way stretch. I don't know why they've put that on there. I just don't understand. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what the benefit of four-way stretch is. But anyway, really like these. Best and less. Oh, honestly, I, I think best, I don't think you can go wrong with best and less. I'm going to say that. I really honestly don't. I actually think I prefer them to Kmart. That's a big call, isn't it? But I do, because I feel like... I don't know, I can't, I don't know, I can't put my finger on it, but I just feel like, I feel like because Kmart, everyone shops at Kmart, so you're always getting the same thing, but not everyone shops at Best and Less, so I feel like no one knows you're in Best and Less. And I prefer them from Target because Target, I find, can be quite expensive. However, I'm more of a Target girl than I am a Kmart girl, although that's not so true lately. That That's not very true lately, actually. Anyway, top is an extra large, $18, stretch four ways. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just find that such a funny thing that they've put on there. Um, let's see if it says that. Yeah, four-way stretch. Quick, quick dry. See, quick dry. I can understand that. Quick dry. Cool. I'm sweating. I need to dry quickly. Breathable. Cool. Because everyone wants to be able to breathe while they're doing exercise. But anyway, love the colour. I think this one's great. I just love these. I think they're really fun, guys. That's all. I think they're really fun. They're nice active wear. There's something different. Um, and, you know, they're not expensive. They're not, well, they're not as, as expensive as some of the more known brands. So I think they're fun. I like them. Okay, now this one is a little bit of a different one. I probably wouldn't usually go for this colour, but I actually really like it. So I got the leggings in this, like, weird green like super weird green and they have the top to come with them now one thing i will say is when you're working out long sleeve tops are not something that i want to work out in but 
I feel like this is just a look, you know, you're going for the look here. Um, so maybe in winter, if you're going for a walk, these do catch a sweat, <laughs> so they're breathable. But basically they catch a sweat, didn't they? They catch a sweat, let's face it. The middle of these leggings has a little bit of a different texture to the outside. So if you can see that, and then the outside is just sort of ribbed. So I quite like the difference as well. I think that's quite cool. They have it on the bum, like a love heart bum. I really love this colour, actually. I didn't think I would, but I do. And I quite like that it's got long sleeves because I think for me, I'm a little bit more self-conscious. So I quite like that I'm covering up my arms and that I'm covering up, you know, these little jiggly bits. This one is, again, 90% nylon, 10% elastin. They do these in all different colours. So I think these long ones, they do in the black as well. Um, maybe a white, I can't remember. But the blue and pink ones, I think they do in quite a few different colours. Um, but I think they're really nice. And like I say, they're a great alternative. So that's everything from me. That's all of the active wear that I picked up. I didn't pick up too much because let's face it, I'm not going to the gym anytime soon. I just don't have time. <laughs> um, and yeah, I feel like now that I've taken on this whole YouTube thing as well, that, that is so time consuming, guys. I don't know if you know. Like I used to watch these videos and be like, you know, so judgy of like, oh God, stop talking. Or, oh God, and she always goes on about this or bangs on about this. Or I want to see it like this or I want to see it like that. Guys, we're so demanding as viewers. And when you're actually up here doing it, you're like, oh, God, this is so hard. Like, you know, you want to try and get the best out, the best that you can, but it is just honestly so time consuming that you can't always do it, especially when you've got kids. I completely feel so sorry for these, um, you know, people who put up, I don't feel so sorry for them. Sorry, that's not really what I'm saying. Um, I feel for them now when I see these people with large families making loads of content and I'm like, God, like, how do you fit that into your life? Like, how do you, you must be filming all the time or editing all the time. Like to film one of these takes a good hour and then you edit it. It takes hours to edit, hours. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, please make sure you like and subscribe. Every little helps for my channel. And if you haven't added me to Instagram, then go ahead and add me to Instagram. I do a little bit over there, but not really. I feel like YouTube is more time consuming. So I want to focus a little bit more on upping one and then hopefully drag the other one up with me. Um, so anyway, please make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.